Well, to me, it's the uh, biggest local race we've got here in the Kansas City area, and that is the Jackson County Prosecutor's Race. We know what the homicide numbers have sadly been in KCMO, the bulk of those obviously in uh, Jackson County, and the prosecutor plays a huge role in trying to uh, stem that tide and turn things around. Melissa Johnson is here. She is the Director of Public Safety for Kansas City. She joins us on 95.7 FM. Melissa, good morning. Thanks for being here. You've got less than a month to go until this primary. The Democratic side is is very much um, competitive. It's heating up. And how do you yes. continue to try to differentiate yourself from your fellow candidates? Well, what I've been doing is being consistent and being the only candidate that has solid, detailed, specific plans on how to curb the violence plaguing our community. I think Jackson County is over and beyond diagnostic responses. We all know how bad things are. So what are we going to do to change it? We all know that crime is on the rise, but very few candidates tell you how they're gonna go about making Jackson County safer. And in my opinion, the how is the most important part. And I'm so excited to be here with you this morning to tell you a little bit more about my how. So what is the how, Melissa Johnson? Absolutely. So as it pertains to violent crime, we have to clear more cases. And I think technology is going to be a huge tool in doing that. Right now in Jackson County, there's about a two-month backlog to analyze cell phones collected in violent crimes cases. Now, Pete, we all know how we use our cell phones. It tells you who you've been talking to, where you need to be, how you get there. It is a wealth of information for our detectives. In places like Las Vegas, where they analyze those cell phones within 48 hours, their clearance rate is upwards of 89%. And we all know when you clear more cases, when you get more of them across the finish line, it sends a deterring message to the rest of the community that, hey, it's a new day in Jackson County. We need to put the guns up, pack it up, and go inside. With property crime going grossly under prosecuted right now for a variety of reasons. Right now, all of those cases go to the General Crimes Prosecution Division, where they get lost in the sea of everything else on an assistant prosecutor's office desk. Well, I plan to pull all of those cases out, create a separate standalone property crimes prosecution division, but turn it into a law student clinic. Let's put these young people to work, UMKC law students, KUMU. With this structure, it gives the cases the exclusive focus that they deserve. The victims feel heard and advocated for. The law students get practical experience to supplement their legal education. And most importantly, Pete, the offenders are held accountable so that we can check criminality early before it naturally continues well, to escalate. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, we've had a lot of folks in, in eastern parts of Jackson County who have had property crimes and they feel like, you know, they never hear anything about it. It never goes anywhere. And oftentimes, as you know, crime has a snowball effect and people that are committing property crimes are then committing more heinous acts. So you think nipping these criminals uh, before they get to the point of committing very much violent actions is one way to go about doing it. So you're going to use these law school students theoretically to help you with this because the staffing's not there. Is that my understanding? Correct. We need to expand capacity. Mm -hmm. And under Missouri Supreme Court Rule 13, law students can handle these cases. I mean, UMKC just had an expungement law clinic handled exclusively by law students. So with this infrastructure change, it allows our licensed attorneys to focus more exclusively on the violent cases, but the nonviolent property crimes, which still matter. These are not victimless crimes. You know, some people get their car stolen. It means losing their job. They can't get their child to school on time, so they lose their spot in their educational institution. So we have to reimagine how we approach property crime, make sure we are holding offenders accountable before, you know, the Kia boys one day, six months later, they turn into a homicide suspect. These are missed opportunities to direct people in different directions. Melissa Johnson is here running for Jackson County Prosecutor. So what is that thing, you know, when it comes to rebuilding trust? Uh, listen, you talk to anybody on the uh, police force, or at least a lot of folks, there's not a great bit of trust between uh, the prosecutor's office in Jackson County and the police department. How does Prosecutor Melissa Johnson uh, bridge that divide? Well, Director of Public Safety, Melissa Johnson, is off to a very great start in, in that goal. You know, my current role, I spend about half of my time at KCPD headquarters, maybe even sometimes more at headquarters than I spend at City Hall. I have helped KCPD build programmatic efforts from the ground up. 
I help them with resource deployment to different victims of violent crime. I lead a task force that they participate on that helps them strategize through neighborhood level and commercial business public safety issues. I have proven myself over the past three years as a trusted and valued partner, which is why I'm only one of the few civilians in weekly shoot review every Wednesday morning. And I know you have a lot of friends, a lot of good friends on the force at KCPD. And I think my work speaks for itself. And I plan to continue this collaborative energy that I've had the fortune of being involved in at the next level as your Jackson County prosecutor. Last thing, Melissa Johnson, for now, in the next minute or so, you know, some of your opponents have said, well, you don't have the legal background trying cases. Why should the voter not worry about that compared to your opponents? I've tried everything from lower level drug crimes all the way up to first degree murders. I've picked juries. I've done opening and closing arguments. I've cross-examined witnesses, both in the criminal realm and in the civil realm. And frankly, Pete, fighting crime does not exclusively happen within the confines of the courtroom. I'm the only candidate that has the the adequate political experience to get this job done in an effective way. Like I just told you, I've built programs from the ground up. I am helping KCPD implement focused deterrence. Right now, as we speak, I've whipped votes. I've gotten budgetary items passed. All of the administrative leadership responsibilities of our elected prosecutor in conjunction with my prior prosecutorial experience. And so I would argue I'm the most qualified candidate Mm -hmm. in higher pack in this race. Melissa, thank you so much for the time. We'll talk to you again soon here down the home stretch. All righty, Pete. Thank you so much for having me and have a fantastic day. You as well. Melissa Johnson on KCMO 95.7 FM.